In the chilling collaboration between Stephen King and Richard Chismer, Wendy's Button Box, 2017, transports readers to the year 1974. This horror novella revolves around the life of 12-year-old Wendy Peterson, who encounters a mysterious stranger wearing a black hat. The stranger presents her with a peculiar box that unleashes a series of eerie and unsettling events. Stephen King, an acclaimed and prolific author renowned for his works in the horror genre, including iconic novels like I.T., The Shining, and Salem's Lot, joins forces with Richard Chismer, a writer of fiction and screenplays. Chismer's notable contributions also include his role as the editor of Cemetery Dance Magazine, a publication specializing in horror and suspense fiction. The story unfolds in Castle Rock, a town where young Wendy Peterson is determined to shed pounds in an effort to escape the torment of bullying by her peers. With middle school looming, she yearns to leave behind the nickname Goodyear that has plagued her. Wendy religiously climbs the suicide stairs, an aging structure clinging to the cliffside leading to Castle View, as part of her weight loss regimen. During one of her breath-catching breaks atop Castle View, a man named Richard Ferris, donning dark attire and a black hat, beckons her from the park below. Intrigued, Gwendy approaches him. Ferris expresses admiration for her commitment to self-improvement and offers her a gift. He reveals the button box, an enchanting mahogany box adorned with eight colored buttons. Gwendy feels an irresistible allure to it. Ferris provides a brief explanation of the side levers, one of which dispenses animal-shaped chocolates to suppress her appetite and aid in her weight loss, while the other yields silver dollars as a reward for keeping the box. However, the true enigma lies in the eight buttons atop the box. Gwendy learns that these buttons carry immense consequences, as each one has the power to impact an entire continent. With the introduction of the button box, Gwendy's life takes a dark and harrowing turn, challenging her in ways she could never have anticipated. The novella delves into the haunting implications of these buttons and the choices Gwendy must make as she navigates a world of sinister possibilities. King and Chismer's collaboration captivates readers with its blend of horror, mystery, and psychological suspense, further cementing their reputation as masters of the genre. Wendy's Button Box offers a chilling tale that will leave readers on the edge of their seats, contemplating the weighty consequences of the choices we make. The tale also features two buttons with ominous implications. The Cancer Button, a foreboding black button, symbolizes everything while the red button possesses the power to materialize whatever Gwendy can imagine. Ferris cautions her about the gifts the box bestows, emphasizing the weighty responsibility that accompanies them. Curious about the button's true nature, Gwendy inquires further, only to receive a cryptic response from Ferris, who questions the purpose of asking a question already known. Initially, Gwendy embraces the box and its offerings, despite the burden of safeguarding it. The chocolate treats aid in her weight loss, leading to a cessation of bullying from her classmates and an increased interest from boys. Additionally, her parents' relationship undergoes a positive transformation, abstaining from alcohol and rekindling their love. However, the tide soon turns, and Gwendy finds herself haunted by nightmares where a boy pushes the black button beyond her control. Despite her attempts to intervene, she fails to prevent the impending disaster. As Frankie Stone, a classmate, begins harassing her, Gwendy dreams of his left arm breaking. In a twist of fate, Frankie ends up in a car accident, suffering the exact injury. Despite her growing apprehension surrounding the box, Gwendy's curiosity eventually gets the better of her. She succumbs to pressing the red button, visualizing an uninhabited portion of South America. To her devastation, she learns the next morning that the infamous Jim Jones mass suicide took place precisely in that location. While there are still moments of joy, such as Gwendy's delightful time spent with her best friend, Olive, engaging in activities like making strawberry turnovers and hosting an impromptu dance party with Olive's mother, the weight of responsibility associated with the box takes its toll. Gwendy oscillates between nightmares of someone discovering the box and her desperate attempts to rid herself of its burden. However, the box stubbornly refuses to be abandoned, always drawing her back. One fateful day, tragedy strikes when Olive tragically takes her own life by leaping off the suicide stairs. Gwendy, burdened by guilt for not being there for her friend, seeks solace by using the box to obliterate the suicide stairs, attempting to rectify her perceived neglect. 
Throughout this haunting narrative, Gwendy grapples with the consequences of her encounters with the mysterious box and the choices she has made. The story delves into the complexities of responsibility, guilt, and the unsettling power of the unknown. As Gwendy's journey unfolds, readers are immersed in a gripping tale that explores the profound impact of our actions and the enduring presence of the supernatural. Eventually, Gwendy enters into a relationship with a boy named Harry, and they embark on a romantic journey together. However, Gwendy becomes suspicious that the box harbors jealousy towards Harry. Her doubts are substantiated one fateful night when Frankie intrudes upon their encounter and stumbles upon the box. In a desperate bid to divert his attention, Gwendy resorts to an unexpected action, she exposes her breasts to Frankie. The situation escalates further when Harry witnesses the scene and confronts Frankie, resulting in a violent altercation where Frankie inadvertently strikes Harry on the head with the box. Tragically, Harry succumbs to his injuries, succumbing to death. Fast forward to the year 1984, Gwendy is on the verge of graduating from college when Ferris reappears in her life. He commends her for demonstrating restraint in her use of the box, emphasizing that the box itself is neither inherently good nor evil. Instead, Ferris asserts that the misfortunes Gwendy attributed to the box were merely the actions of individuals with malicious intent. Ferris reclaims the box, deeming it time to entrust it to a new caretaker. Gwendy experiences a mix of relief and sorrow as she bids farewell to the box, aware that its presence had both burdened and shaped her life. In this final chapter, Gwendy grapples with a range of emotions, relieved to be free from the box's influence while also feeling a sense of loss. The encounter with Ferris offers her a glimpse of understanding, shedding light on the true nature of the box and the complex dynamics surrounding it. As Gwendy looks towards the future, she carries with her the lessons learned and the memories of the box's impact on her life, forever shaped by its presence. I hope you enjoyed this video, leave a like if you did, and be sure to subscribe thank you.